Othello is one of Shakespeare's five best known and widely studied tragedies, along with Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear, and Romeo and Juliet. William Shakespeare's Othello takes place in 16th century Venice and also Cyprus. The play is set in motion when Othello, a heroic black general in the service of Venice, appoints Cassio and not Iago as his chief lieutenant. Jealous of Othello's success and envious of Cassio, Iago plots Othello's downfall by falsely implicating Othello's wife, Desdemona, and Cassio in a love affair. With the unwitting aid of Amelia, his wife, and the winning help of Rodrigo, a fellow of malcontent, Iago carries out his plan. Making use of a handkerchief belonging to Desdemona and found by Emilia when Othello has unwittingly dropped it, Iago persuades Othello that Desdemona has given the handkerchief to Cassio as a love token. Iago also induces Othello to eavesdrop on a conversation between himself and Cassio that is in fact about Cassio's mistress, Bianca, but which Othello is led to believe concerns Cassio's infatuation with Desdemona. These slanderous proofs confirm that Othello has been all too inclined to believe that, as an older black man, he is no longer attractive to his young Venetian wife. Overcome with jealousy, Othello killed Desdemona, when he learns from Emilia, too late, that his wife is blameless, he asks to be remembered as one who loved not wisely but too well, and kills himself. Short Analysis Othello is an outsider who is intelligent and confident in military matters but socially insecure. He leads an intense life, swinging between triumph and dread. He is different from those around him, due to his origins and his life history, but he shares their religion, values and patriotism to Venice. More importantly, he is different due to the color of his skin, so he lives constantly among, but separated from, other people. Faith is cruel to Othello, like the cruel fate of the ancient Greek tragedies. Like the Greek heroes, Othello can confront this fate only with the best of his humanity. In his final speeches, Othello brings again a flash of his military glory, his loyalty to Venice, the intensity of his love, and the terrible realization that, by killing this demona, he has destroyed the best in himself. No man has full control over his life, but a man can judge himself and perform the execution and die with his love.